shirt that I was wearing a brace. Um, do you recall the first time you may have observed me wearing a brace on my ankle? I know I, at this point, I know I had seen it more than once, but I don't know if it was before that date or after. But, but I know what there has been, you were, you had a brace on for multiple days. <laughs> um, did you observe uh, around that time period any uh, disability on my part to either walk or run or, or ride a bike properly? Probably from you telling me.
Yes. And where is he seated? He's uh, seated to your left. Well, the right, like the way it's back. Yes. And when you um, responded, did you locate Mr. Ian? It took, yes, but it took a while because um, what happened was, uh, as, as uh, Officer McDermott was making her rounds, uh, the location kept changing, and then we have these network of one-way streets around the library and whatnot, so it took a bit to find this. When you first saw Mr. Ian, where was he and what did you observe? I recall as I was coming out of uh, Court Street onto uh, Center Square, to my left I saw him in front, on the sidewalk in front of City Hall. Okay. And uh, what, what was he doing with respect to the bicycle? He was riding the bicycle. Okay. And um, can you describe what you mean by riding? Sure. He was, uh, his buttocks were firmly planted in the seat. He was straddling the top two, so he was seated on the bicycle, and he was uh, pushing it or paddling with his feet. And um, did you continue to observe him, and then did you make your way over to him? I did. Again, the, the, because of the traffic and whatnot, I initially I saw him on the, in the east side there at City Hall on the sidewalk. And by the time I made a, my way around, he was now in front of Prime Roast, uh, south of City Hall, just south of Rock Street. Still on the sidewalk? Correct. Just yeah. seated in, in the way I just described. Okay. And did you um, eventually have contact with him? Yes. And can you describe the conversation? I, I called out to him, and he responded. And when he responded, he stayed, again, firmly planted in the seat, straddling the top two of the bicycle, and pushed it with his feet over to where I had directed him to come. He did come up, and I was in front of the old, um, the, in front of the satellite station on Main Street. And can you describe your conversation? Um, I told him that I had multiple complaints and calls that uh, he had been riding his bike on the sidewalk and uh, that I saw him riding his bike on the sidewalk. And what did you do? You did what you did? Uh, I, I, told, I told him that I was going to give him a, uh, a ticket, a summons for violating the city ordinance, prohibiting bikes from being ridden on the sidewalks that I knew, that I section of downtown. And say at this time, I just asked that the court judicial notice the court can take judicial notice of the uh, statutes, laws, and ordinances in the jurisdictions, and I'll take judicial notice of this one. Thank you. And, um, I have questions. Okay, any questions for the Republican? Sure. So, uh, Officer Moore, you identified there's some time that passed between when you received the call initially and when you arrived on the scene and identified myself? Correct. I'm not sure how long it was, but it took several minutes at least, yes. And you said you first observed me, uh, what you identified as straddling the bike, pushing it uh, using my feet against the ground? I said your buttocks were, you were straddling the bike with your buttocks firmly seated on the seat, yes, and pushing with your feet. That's what I said. Okay. Um, at no point in your testimony, uh, did you use the word pedaling? Did you observe any pedaling of the bicycle? Pedaling I would define as your feet being on the pedals. No, I did not. Okay. Um, today you testified that when you, you first approached, uh, you stated that you received multiple complaints and that you saw or observed me riding the bike. Um, would you observe, uh, or would, would you define uh, the activity you just described as riding the bike? We're going to get into semantics about what constitutes riding a bike, but I would say it was riding a bike because, uh, yes, I would say you were riding a bike. Would you say I was using the bicycle to assist my movement? I don't understand your question. Oh, how do you mean? Um, was I using the bicycle, I'll rephrase, was I using the bicycle to enable movement? Well, bicycles get people from point A to point B, so. So the bicycle was serving a, it was perhaps serving a utility for myself. I'm 
not sure the answer. Why are you, or what for yourself were you took? Oh, uh, that's wrong. Um, now you, you stated that the first thing you said on the scene was that you had, you had observed me uh, doing what you had alleged. Um, do, you re do you think that it's possible that the first thing you said on the scene was that I'm going to be issuing you a ticket? Say that again. And say, say that again. When I first saw you on the scene, is it possible that the first thing, uh, the first words you delivered to myself were that you were going to be issuing a ticket? I'm not sure where in the sequence of our conversation I came in, but <clears throat> I, I didn't tell you I was going to be issuing a ticket. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, during the course of your conversation with me, though, um, were you conducting an investigation? I guess one could say so. I was investigating the report of a bicycle being ridden on the sidewalk in violation of the city ordinance. So if one calls that an investigation, I guess so. And did anything during the course of our conversation um, lead to you believing there was probable cause to issue a citation? Yeah, I saw it in the bicycle. Um, okay. So, um, so, to be specific, you, uh, you believed it was probable cause to issue a citation upon seeing somebody seated upon a bicycle on the sidewalk and pushing on the ground with their feet. You believe that that's a violation of cigarettes? Again, <clears throat> I don't know what the semantics of this are, but I, I, I construe it as riding a bicycle on the sidewalk. Like riding a bicycle, yes. If you're seated on it, straddling it, yes. Officer Moore, how often would you say you issue this sort of citation? Uh, infrequently. Infrequently. Um, would you say that you observe uh, this ordinance being violated more often than it's being enforced against being violated? By me or the department in general? No. Yeah. By whom? By me or by the department in general? Um, I'd say either. But you can answer. I guess for your orders. Do, do you uh, do you? Would you say the department in general is not? He can answer as to himself. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So again, rephrase the question for me. Um, do you see this ordinance being violated more often than you see it being enforced against being violated? Basically, do you see more people riding bicycles? How you would define riding them downtown on the sidewalks more often than you see tickets being issued for that sort of thing? I enforce it regularly. If I, I do foot patrol quite frequently, if I see it being violated, I address it. I don't look the other way. Does that mean that you will issue a ticket usually or issue a warning? What I typically do is I look at, uh, I, I, I look at one's, uh, if one is, a, is the factors I take in, is one a city resident who is or should be familiar with this ordinance, or perhaps one's a visitor or an incoming freshman at the college who just arrived and may not be familiar with it. Or, if I can, I'll access the database and see if one has, a, has received a warning for this before, in which case he or she knows about it. Were you aware of any prior warnings or citations having been issued to myself uh, before that day? No. Um, Officer Moore, did you observe um, anything in particular about uh, my physical abilities that day? Was I in any way disabled? What I observed was uh, on your right ankle, your, your right lower leg, you had some kind of uh, heavy duty ace bandage or something on your lower right, your right ankle. Uh, so that bandage could perhaps be described as a brace? I, I don't recall exactly what it was, but it was a he it was heavier than any bandage. Mm -hmm. um, do you recall myself taking off the bandage at any point? I think you did, and uh, uh, I did not ask you to. That was of your own. Your own. Uh, you initiated that. Um, so you don't recall? Uh, do you recall observing any uh, medical issues with my ankle, or did you not observe? I'm not a medical person. I, 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 don't, I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay. Do you believe it would be 
be a violation of a Um, for the record, you identify that you did not observe me pedaling the bicycle on the sidewalk before determining if you had issued the ticket, correct? I did not observe you at any time pedaling with your feet on the pedals, correct? That's what you're asking. I have no further questions. Thank you. Rex? When you did see him straddling the bike, the seat of the bike, he was actually moving forward, correct? He was in motion, correct. Forward motion, yes. And and despite his ankle wrap or contraption, he was still able to move around at sea. Most right. certainly. Okay. I know the term. Yes. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? Um, no, but I would, um, there are um, exceptions that I should probably report as well. I don't get quite here, but I should, to be complete, I should give the report that as well. Okay, did you want to testify? Um, I do not have testimony to give here, but I would be happy to give a closing argument. Okay, you can give a closing argument, but remember, I can only consider the facts that have been testified to in making a determination here. Go ahead. Understood. I think the, the case before us today raises the question of how misdirected public policy can be. Right, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you address the case today. Okay? I'm not going to let you give me a whole lot of latitude as far as making a political speech here today. So I'll give you a little latitude, Mr. Ian, but not much. Okay, um, well basically, we, we have a society in which bicyclists who are very much at risk of being injured seriously by a motor vehicle,